What's up, YouTube? Are you wondering what Affinity Going Free means for you? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben. I'm a media design educator. Today we're talking about Affinity's announcement on October 30th that they are going free. Now, there was a lot of speculation. I made a few videos about this, trying to figure out what might be happening on October 30th. And there was a lot of concern in the Affinity community because it was weird. All of the products went away. We were supposed to sign up to get the announcement and nobody knew what was happening. And there's been a lot of concern ever since Affinity was purchased by Canva last year in 2024. You just don't know what a big company like that is going to do. So today we finally got the announcement and it wasn't that they're making a video editor and it wasn't that they're making a Lightroom competitor. It wasn't any new app, except it was a new app, but it was the new app is the old apps. So the old apps, the three of them were combined into one app. Now, this kind of already happened when you had Affinity Publisher and Studio Link, but now there's just one app. It's called Affinity by Canva. Let's not forget that part, by Canva. And Affinity now has all of the tools of all of the other apps inside it. Now with Studio Link, you did have the tools of photo and designer inside of Affinity Publisher, but not necessarily every single tool. It was kind of just two of the personas from there. So now every tool is there together. And this Ash, who is the CEO of Serif, which is what makes Affinity, which is owned by Canva, Ash said this was always their point. And he'd already talked about that when they introduced Studio Link, that the idea of calling it Affinity was that everything would work together, that you wouldn't have these separate apps, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, kind of separate, but it would all be together. So that's the idea behind making this all one app. Everything that you need for your creative work is all together in one place. Kind of unsilo the whole thing. It's not that different. I'm downloading it and installing it right now. I haven't dove into it a lot yet, but from what I've seen in the demos, you still just kind of switch between a vector persona, a pixel persona, and a layout persona. So that's all kind of there. But the big news, of course, is that it's free. And what does this mean? Is it really free? We are so used to things being free, but not really free. And Canva, has built their entire business on offering something for free and then getting you to subscribe to something later on. That is Canva's entire business model. So what does this really mean? Well, everything they're saying is that all of the tools that existed in Affinity before, plus some new ones, some that some of you are going to be really excited about, all of those tools are free. You can download the app, anybody on a Mac or Windows, iPad's not here yet, and you can use all of those tools for free. The catch is that they're locking the AI tools, there's AI, that's what we thought probably would come with some AI stuff, behind your Canva subscription. So if you are subscribed to Canva with some kind of premium account, not the free account, you will start to get those AI tools. Now a lot of us are like, I don't care about those AI tools, but Canva is betting that that's going to work out. Here's the thing, Canva has to make money. Affinity had to make money. That's why they sold software. Now they sold it as single purchase licenses, not as subscription, which was what made everybody love them. Now there is no purchase. You're not buying anything. You're just downloading a free app. But Canva has to make money. So they are betting that enough users will sign up for Canva premium accounts in order to get the AI benefits. Now, the nice thing about this for those of us who hate AI is we don't have to see it. We don't have to have AI come in and bother us all the time because it's going to be locked behind that. But ultimately, what worries me about this is that Affinity can't continue unless Canva makes money. So this kind of puts us at odds with what we might want because Canva's whole thing is trying to really deprofessionalize design. That has been their thing kind of since the beginning. And look, I help people learn how to design online. I want design to open up to everyone, but I don't want it to be garbage design. And the problem is a lot of Canva designs have been garbage design. And so now we're kind of in this weird spot where in order for Affinity to continue, we need Canva to succeed, which might not be what we really wanted. So I don't know totally what to think about this yet. I really need to dive in and actually use the new app. Now your old apps should continue to work so long as they're installed on your computer. So if you want to just stick with it. Maybe you don't want vector tools. So you're like, I just want to stick with a video photo. I think you can, so long as you have it. One other thing to note is there's no iPad version yet. iPad version will be coming later, it says. So we'll have to see how that kind of works out. I do like the idea of having everything together. I've loved Studio Link. I've promoted it a lot. And so having all these apps together in one place should make things a lot easier for creatives. One other thing to talk about now, 
that is Adobe. What is Adobe going to do now? Because that's gotta be one of the huge things that Canva is betting on. They're like, if we make a free app that is close enough to Adobe, we will get a lot of people because there's now no barrier to entry. You just download the free app and you start using it. And so you don't really have to think about that. You can just do it while you keep your Adobe subscription. Try it out. If you can do what you need to do, then you can dump Adobe. So I don't know if Adobe will respond to this. I don't know if they need to. They have such a stranglehold on the industry right now that it really might not matter to them. But depending on how people's behavior shifts, it could matter to them. So we'll have to keep our eyes and see what Adobe does. Of course, Adobe is leaning really hard into AI. They just had Adobe Max just yesterday. But now I want to hear from you. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Are you excited that Affinity is free? This does make sense now why they would have stopped the sales because they didn't want everybody getting mad that they released a free app after they had just bought it. So there will probably still be a little bit of that from people who bought it like 31 days ago or something. But what you going to do? There's not much you can do. The other thing that everyone speculated on was that this would be Affinity 3. They're just calling it Affinity. They aren't calling it Affinity 3 because it's one app. But if you go and look, it is listed in the actual about the file that it is Affinity 3.0. Okay, that's it. I wanna hear from you. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Are you excited? Are you worried? Have you tried it out yet? What are you thinking about this app? And of course, I will be looking at it and releasing tutorials and courses about it as we go along here. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.